Welcome to my podcast series about mysteries, strange and eerie disappearances, unsolved cases. My name is John Plus, and I'll be trying to cover mystery and unsolved cases from the past and present. You can find me on Instagram, I am John Plus Actor, Facebook, YouTube, TikTok. You can download my podcast on Podbean, and it'll be distributed on Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, and all podcast platforms. I hope you lovely listeners will enjoy these podcasts. In today's podcast, I'll be discussing a very strange and unsettling case that has kept me wondering what happened since it was first broadcast on TV. This is the case of Lars Mittank. Lars Mittank was born on the 9th of February 1986 in Berlin, Germany. He grew up in Itzelhoi, Schleswig, Holstein, and lived there for his entire life. He was pre- described as a normal person. The case has generated intense interest, and the frequency with which people viewed the footage of him fleeing the airport has led him to be named the most famous missing person on YouTube. In June 2014, a 28-year-old German tourist Lars Mittank traveled to the popular Golden Sands Resort in Varna, Bulgaria for a holiday with friends. After displaying unusual behavior on the trip following a suspected beating, he bolted from the airport and was captured by cameras disappearing into a field of tall sunflowers. No trace of him has ever been found. Footage of his final known movements has been viewed over a million times on YouTube, leading to him being named the world's most famous missing tourist. Mitank and his friends arrived in Varna, a city on the Bulgarian Black Sea coast, on 30th of June 2014. One of Mitank's friends noted that We relaxed on the beach swam in the pool, played football, went clubbing. He was relaxed. He was in a good mood. Another friend, Tim Schuld, said that Mitank did not eat much and he would have only had a small bowl of soup or a small salad at a time. A week later, while drinking in a bar with friends, when a Bremen fan, Mitank got into an altercation with fans of rival Bundesliga team Bayern Munich. After leaving leaving the bar, Mitank disappeared, with his friends unable to locate him for the rest of the night. However, he turned up at the resort room the following morning, telling his friends he had been beaten by four men he had argued with in the bar the previous night. Some friends recalled his account differently, saying Mitank had told them the four Bayern fans had hired a local to do it for them. An examination by a doctor found that Mitank did have injuries consistent with a fight, including a cracked jaw and ruptured eardrum. The doctor prescribed the antibiotic Cefrazil, 500 mg. Mitank's friends wanted to stay with him, but he insisted he was fine on his own and told them to follow the original travel plan and fly home on 7th of July, which they did. Mitank was advised that due to his ear injury, he would be unable to to fly home with the rest of his friends that were due to depart that day. Reassuring his friends that he would be fine, Mitank checked out at the same time as them, before checking into the nearby Hotel Collar Varna for one night. It was during this night at the Hotel Collar that Mitank began to demonstrate strange behavior appearing paranoid that he was being pursued by the group of men he claimed had beaten him the previous previous night. At one point he hid in an elevator for a prolonged period of time, before leaving the hotel at around midnight, and only returning hours later. He even called his mother, asking, asking her in a hushed voice to cancel all his credit cards 
as four men were intending to kill him. The following day, on July 8, 2014, Lars Mittank traveled to the Varna airport, where he met with the, pre the airport doctor to discuss if his ear had healed sufficiently to allow him to fly home. During the conversation, it appears the pair were interrupted by a man who was working on a construction, pro construction project in the airport. Lars Mittank stood up from his chair and shouted, I don't want to die here! I have to get out of here! He then dropped all of his personal belongings to the floor, including his cell phone and wallet, and began running. Startled, Mitank fled from the airport, wearing only a t-shirt and shorts, leaving the hold bag he's seen carrying in earlier CCTV footage behind. Multiple cameras record him fleeing across the car park before climbing a fence and disappearing into a field of sunflowers. There is no definitive agreement as to the causes of Mitang's behavior and to what extent his paranoia was rooted in reality. Mitang's mother, alongside Bulgarian and German doctors, have suspected that Mitang's unusual behavior was the result of a rare side effect from the, from the antibiotic that was prescribed, cefrozil. Cefrozil is a cephalosporin, known to induce psychotic side effects, including hallucinations and paranoia. However, Mitang had not been taking his medication. The doctor said that he didn't take those antibiotics. He didn't, he didn't even fill out his prescription. The doctor also said that he can't think of a single reason why he left his office in such a panic. His mother said that he had no history of mental illness. However, a mental breakdown caused by an undiagnosed mental illness has been discussed as a possible explanation for his conduct. It is also unknown what happened to Mitank after he fled the airport. With the police unable to determine Lars Mitank's fate, his mother hired a private investigator. He checked hospital records for patients without identification, but found nothing. Mitank had experience in hunting, fishing, and trapping, but there are doubts about whether he could have been able to survive for long outdoors, due to intense heat in the summer and lack of food. His mother has expressed belief that he is still alive, possibly having lost his memory. About a year after his disappearance, a truck driver thought he saw him hitchhiking in Varna. There have been multiple reported sightings of him in several other countries, but none have been confirmed. In 2019, a German truck driver gave a hitchhiker a ride from Dresden to Schildo in Oberhavel, Badenburg. The driver became aware of the Mitank case later, and said that the man with him resembled an older version of Mitank. The driver said that the man had long hair and a beard. He said that, that his eyes seemed tired and his cheekbones were prominent. Of course, there is massive speculation and many theories, sub-theories, trying to explain Mitank's disappearance and to solve the mystery. One of these theories suggests that the fight might not have even happened. No one saw the fight Lars had with angry football fans and made him split up from his friends. When they found him later, he told them that those fans hired people to beat him up. Some people point out that ears can rupture through travel or infection. It's possible that that was unrelated and it was simply a mental issue. Of course, People with serious delusional disorders are at high risk of being harmed by others because they can come across threatening to others. So it wouldn't be surprising if he was attacked. The story about fans hiring people is almost certainly illogical. Some Reddit users doubt the use of antibiotics for a near rupture infection. It's not typical to prescribe antibiotics for that 
unless there's sign of infection and unless there's other injuries that haven't been mentioned, there is no other reason to prescribe antibiotics. Take out the rupture and the other injuries are as explainable by a drunken fall as they are by a fight. A hypothesis that let's say the group of friends all decided to smoke a, jo smoke a joint or try a psychedelic or something. And he had a bad trip that developed into full-blown psychosis. Maybe he was the one acting just as weird and paranoid on that night as he was the following days. In the end, for whatever reason, he probably died from exposure and one day a body might be found if local wildlife doesn't dispose of it the natural way. Either that, or he was tracked down and murdered by a local drugs cartel who had infiltrated the airport and had plants in the construction staff to smoke him out. What do you believe happened to Lars Mitank? Let me know what you think. This was the first episode of the John Plus Mystery Podcasts. Please like, share and follow my channel. You can find me on Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, TikTok. You can download my podcast on Podbean and it will be distributed on Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts and all podcast platforms. I hope you lovely listeners will enjoy these podcasts. Please remember to send the podcast link to your friends if you like it. Bye.